Hey guys, I'm Steph, and welcome to my beauty stash. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank y'all so much for watching another one of my videos. You know the drill. Before we begin, make sure you click on that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you never miss one of my video uploads. Today, I am once again trying out a brand new eyeliner and lash adhesive in one. And that is the new power liner from Lily Lashes. So let me go ahead and read you some specifics on this brand new power liner. Line and lash like a pro with the new power liner 2-in-1 eyeliner and lash adhesive. This breakthrough jet black eyeliner doubles as an extra tacky adhesive for quick and easy lash application. No touch-ups needed. The power is in your hands with this stay all day waterproof eyeliner that won't smudge, flake, or budge and easily removes with no clumpy glue residue. This new Lily Lashes Power Liner retails for $20 and I believe Lily Lashes website is the only place where it is available right now. That's where I ordered mine from. I know if you follow Trend Mood on Instagram, this is going to be in her upcoming Beauty Box subscription. So if you're not signed up for that, head over to the Trend Mood Instagram page and you can sign up um, to receive her monthly Beauty Box, which includes a lot of amazing things and she says this is going to be in her next box. In here, you do get 0.9 mLs of product, so that's not bad. In the Velour Lash & Go um, Eyeliner Lash Adhesive Hybrid, this one retails for $23, and in here, you get 3.5 5 mLs of product. So definitely you're getting more in the velour than you are in the Lily Lashes, but these are two different applicator styles. So let me show you up close my Lily Lashes Power Liner. That's what it looks like there. And then you pull the cap off and this is the marker style eyeliner pen. This is what I prefer to use whenever I do eyeliner. This is my go-to method. For me, it's just so much easier to apply, especially like in the inner corner. And then when I want to do a wing, um, that this is my preferred method of application. Now with the velour, the velour is more of a traditional applicator, eyeliner applicator. And some of you all like this. Some of you all prefer this style. So we are going to be putting both of these to the test today. I have already reviewed this one on my channel and I'll leave it linked up above so you guys can check it out. But I already know how this performs and I've been using it for the last week or two and it's been doing a pretty good job. So this one, when I saw it, I bought it instantaneously because of the applicator style. And I also bought it because it says it's waterproof, whereas this one says it is not waterproof. So we're gonna see, we're gonna find out. Let's go ahead and jump into the application portion of today's video, and then I'll be doing periodic check-ins throughout the day. So if you wanna see the new Lily Lashes Power Liner in action, and the Velour Lash & Go Eyeliner Lash Adhesive Hybrid, <laughs> keep on watching. All right guys, so let's go in with this new Lily Lashes Power Liner. Now this did say that it was waterproof. So for some reason, my left eye always tends to get watery first and it usually happens, you know, thankfully later in the day. So I'm gonna be going in with the Lily Lashes Power Liner on my left eye and then we're gonna be doing um, another wear test with the Velour. This is the new Lash & Go, which is essentially the same thing as this Power Liner from Lily lashes. So we're going to see um, which one is going to do better. This one does not say that it is waterproof though. So let me go ahead and apply the Lily Lashes first. Lashes I'm going to be putting on are from Ardell and these are the 601 lashes. Um, I don't remember like what the collection was. I threw away the little paper but it's just a pack up of different four different lashes in here and they are from Ardell. So let me start off first by curling both of my lashes. Now I'm going to apply some mascara and I'm going to be using the Lancome Definisils mascara today. I didn't apply any mascara to my lower lash line. I'll do that after the lash is already on. Now let's go in with this Lily Lashes Power Liner and I'm going to be applying that again to my left eye. Now 
think I want to touch up my eyeliner, but I'm not going to use the, um, the power liner just because I'm not going to put, I already have my lashes on, so I'm just going to use a regular eyeliner that I have. I thought that was really, really easy, really simple, and actually it's not messy at all. I felt like that when I first tried this Velour Lash & Go, it was a little messy, like it got on my fingers and it got like a little bit on my um, lower lash line, but this one, this Power Liner from Lily Lashes wasn't messy at all and it was really easy to use. I think guys, if you wanna do like a dramatic wing, I wouldn't necessarily use this liner to do that wing with. I would, you know, have your regular eyeliner on hand and then kind of use that to do the wing, but at least use this for the base of the lashes since that's where the falsy is going to be placed. So really good and it's drying down. It dried down almost instantaneously. The one thing I have learned in using um, this Velour Lash & Go is that you need to apply your lashes almost um, immediately after you do the liner because this to me isn't like traditional lash glue where you put it on the lashes and you let it sit for you know a few seconds or maybe even up to a minute and then you go in and apply it to the lash line. For me, I think you just need to work a little bit faster so that the lash can adhere better to um, your, your lash line. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. But okay, that lash feels secure, it feels on, it feels comfortable. Let me jump over and use um, the Velour Lash & Go on my right eye. And this is what I meant by the applicator is a little bit different. And you can see right here on my finger, it did get a little bit dirty and I don't know why, but the last few times that I've used it, that's just what happens. I mean, it doesn't bother me. It's nothing that like stains my face or something that can't come off, but that's just what I've noticed about the Velour one. But they both went on really easily. I'm just gonna touch up a little bit with my regular liner. Let me go ahead and apply some mascara to my lower lash lines now. Alright guys, so I am going to go about my day. It is 11.14 right now and I am going to be wearing this pretty much all day. We'll see if we can get for sure a good 8 hour, maybe 10 hour wear test. We'll see what my day is like. Um, but remember over here on the left I am wearing the new Lily Lashes Power Liner and on my right I'm also wearing the new Velour Lash & Go um, Eyeliner and Lash Adhesive Hybrid. So these are going head to head today and I'll be back a little bit later in the day to give you guys some check-ins and let you know how things are wearing. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we are six hours in of me trying out the brand new Lily Lashes Power Liner. Remember that this is an eyeliner and lash adhesive in one. I am wearing it right here on my left eye. The lash is on. It feels secure, it feels great. It doesn't even feel like I'm wearing an eyelash right now. And I think the liner looks pretty good. It hasn't really smudged or smeared, maybe just a little bit like right here, but nothing, nothing major, nothing that I can't just touch up really quick. I am wearing the Velour Lash & Go on my right eye. And with this one, I am starting to like feel the lash like right in here. Remember, this one is not waterproof but the new Lily Lashes is. And I am gonna go get my nails done in a minute, but when I come back before this wear test is over, I'm gonna spray this eye with water and I'm gonna see if that makes the lash come unglued or what that's gonna do to the eyeliner. So we're gonna try that out. But as of right now, they're both looking about the same. I don't have any complaints. I like the way they both went on. I like the way they both applied but this one was just a little bit easier to apply because I'm used to using a marker style eyeliner and that's exactly what this one is. This is more of like a traditional liquid eyeliner. So we're gonna give this another few hours and I'll be back with my final thoughts and review over the new Lily Lashes Power Liner. Stay tuned. 
All right, guys, so it's now been 10 hours that I have been wearing these two new eyeliners and lash adhesives. This one is the new one from Lily Lashes. This is the Power Liner. And then this is the latest one from Velour. This is the Lash and Go um, Eyeliner Lash Adhesive Hybrid. This side is the Velour. This side is the Lily Lashes. What do you guys think? I think they both look exactly the same they both feel the same the only thing that was different is the way you apply them this is more of the marker style and then this is more of like the liquid eyeliner style so i'm thinking whatever your preferred method is whatever formula you like to work with an applicator you like to work with better then that's the one you're going to choose now this new one from lily lashes says that it is waterproof i have my little spray water bottle here and as it stands right now guys my eyelashes are on on both sides i have not had any issues with either one of them coming up coming off moving around anything like that so they're both solid let me spray this side this side is the one that's supposed to be waterproof so let's test that out The eyelash is not coming off. It's still fine. It's on there. Not at all. Let me put a little bit more. So right now, after spraying it with a lot of water, it has started to lift right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it started to lift right here on the inner portion, just ever so slightly. I'm gonna see if I can just press that back down, but it did come off a little bit. Yeah, so I pushed it back down and it's staying down. It's not lifted anymore. So for sure, I wouldn't go swimming with this product and I wouldn't go swimming with any false eyelashes on. But um, I do think if you get caught maybe out in the rain or you get some water splash to your face, I think you're going to be okay. Keep in mind, I just sprayed a lot of water onto this area and you're probably not going to have to deal with that. But I think... I think it's good. I think we're good on both sides. This um, Lily Lashes Power Liner retails for $20. Right now, it is available on the Lily Lashes website. I'm pretty sure that this is going to be heading to Sephora and to Ulta, wherever Lily Lashes is sold in the very near future. So if you're curious about it, head to the Lily Lashes website to learn more. But so far, guys, I like it. And you guys know I don't wear a lot of false eyelashes. And one of the main reasons why I don't wear it is because I don't want to have to deal with the lash glue. For me, applying lashes is very tedious work. It takes a little too much time and that's just not time that I'm willing to invest. So when a makeup company can make something really simple, can be a two-in-one step sign me up. I am all for it, guys. I've been really happy with the Velour Lash and & Go, and I'm equally as happy with this new Lily Lashes Power Liner. The choice is going to be up to you guys. Do you prefer a marker style eyeliner, or do you prefer a traditional liquid eyeliner? I think both of them are great. Just keep in mind, this is going to be a little bit more waterproof than this is, because this doesn't say anywhere that it is waterproof. So guys, I hope I was able to help make some of your buying decisions a little bit easier. Leave me a comment down below and let me know, are you going to pick up any one of these? Have you tried any of them? I would love to hear from you guys. I forgot to take off the eyelashes. I'm sure that's something that you would want to see. I already took this one off and it peeled off really easily. Now let me take off the side that has the new Lily Lashes Power Liner. I'm going to start from the outer edge. Very easy. No tugging, no stinging. Very simple to remove. I want to thank you all so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink your water. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.